Hi my stitchy friends, welcome to episode 32 and this is my whip parade of 2020. Woohoo! <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you are celebrating in one way or another with your loved ones. Um, and um, I figured this was a perfect time to film my whip parade of 2020. Um, I have 35 whips to show you. And um, so I suggest you grab a drink, something to eat, and a nice chair and something to stitch. And um, just join me with my whip parade. Um, I am going to show you, Just I just grabbed something, it's not in chronological order. Um, so yeah, let's start. I'm going to start with the first one here on the left for me. And I'm sorry, I start crinkling right away. And let me get the pattern. This is Where There Are Bees by the Prairie Schooler. And I'm stitching this on 40 count summer khaki with all the cold fur threads. And I hope the light isn't washing out too much. It's a bright sunny day today here in the Netherlands. So yeah, I really enjoy this stitch. It isn't a big one. It's very nice to do in between. There it is. And I really love how the colors look on the summer khaki. I almost have all four colors in. I only have the um, uh, more pinkish dusty rose color I need to put in. But I really love how they are looking on the fabric. So yeah, one stitch. This was a recent start. I don't think I have showed it already on, uh, on a video. It's been a while. We were remodeling our home downstairs our living room and we got a new kitchen a uh, new flooring we painted the walls so um it's been a while since i filmed but we are almost done remodeling we still need to hang something in front of the windows um it will be here next uh, monday i believe uh we need to get some new lightning um we need to hang up stuff on the walls, but we'll get there. The biggest things are done now, so yay. <laughs> Next one is in this blue project bag. And, oh, it's still in the cute snap because I worked on it recently. This is, um, I have to show it right, Peacock's Plumage. Um, I don't know the designer uh, right now, but it's charted by Hate, and I'm stitching this on 25 count Lucana, one over one, and this is my first one over one project for a Hate, and I really love it. It's it's really looking like a real picture, and um, I started this with Jemima the Rocking Stitcher and Mika from Darling Bluebell um, in Mania last year, or last Mania, I should say. And um, yeah, I should get back to this. I ha have been stitching on this recently. I am trying to um, put in a thousand stitches every time I pick up a project. Um, but I decided to sweary, stitch what you want, whenever you want. So I'm still going to try to um, do the thousand stitches on every project I pick up. But if I'm not feeling it, to be it. Sweet wee. So that's Peacock's Plumage. And it's hard to fit in this bag. Because I also have a... Ooh. 
I'm even ripping the bag. <laughs> hmm. I will put that aside. <laughs> um, next one. I'm going to grab something from the floor. I have some bags sitting here on the floor with me. Next one is in a plastic little plastic baggie. This was a freebie released by Barbara Anna, and I have black and white coffee. This is Light by Barbara Anna. This was a freebie released for um, when the COVID situation started for the BOL and Stitch movement. And this is how far I am now. And this is really cute. Love it. I really love Barbara Anna designs and I've been looking through her designs and there's so much more I want to stitch. So yeah, really cute. Also known as the fox in dress cell. And I'm stitching this with all the cold for BNCs on a 32 count mushroom Lucana. I am going to grab a new one. And this is in a project bag, bag I made myself. The first one I ever made using fabrics and uh, zippers, etc. from AliExpress because I didn't know if I would like making my own project bags. I didn't want to spend too much. In it is Midnight Watch, the Blackbird Designs. I really love this one. And I'm stitching this on 28 count Lucana in the color taupe. This is how far I am. I've reached the roof. I've stitched the cat and I've started on the roof. First star is in. And I'm stitching on the border as, um, as I'm going. I'm not a border stitcher so I'm not going to make the border first and then fill in the rest. I'm just switching in between. So, really nice project to work on. I really love the 28 count Lucana. But I am currently in a 40 count um, kick. So, everything I am starting right now is on 40 count. I'm going to create a big mess behind me, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to grab this one. And this is in a um, plastic document folder uh, I buy at a store called The Action. My Dutch viewers will recognize it. And this is my birthday start. It's um, His Eye is on the Sparrow by Heartstring Samplery. And I really love this one. I've been spending a lot of time kitting this up with all the coal for specialty flosses. And now it's as neat as Nicole has them. But if you see me in a half a year, they aren't <laughs> anymore. I'm stitching this on 40 count um, linen in vintage country mocha. And I started in the middle but on the border um, because it has um, corners which are rounded a little bit if you can see if it focuses on it yes see i wanted to make sure that um i was starting on the right position so i started in the middle and I started working on this flower. This is the middle of the project. And um, yeah, I really love it. I have about 350 stitches in now. And I started working on this flower, but I'm missing um, about three colors. And I'm missing hickory sticks, which I should use here in this flower. So I started working on the border again and going down uh, later. Um, to stitch a horse. I really love this. I'm really glad I finally started it. I started a few things in the past couple of weeks, actually. And this is also a needle miner 
from my Etsy store. Um, as you can see, I'm not uh, having needle miners on every project um, I have. I When I stitch, I have this little bag beside me. And I have a little needle miner on top of this. So I stick my needle on here. And I find that more convenient than having a needle miner on every project. So some of them do, some of them don't. But if you see a needle miner, it's most of the time a needle miner from my own Etsy store. And I will link that below so you can have a look if you, uh, if you like. Then a big project, which I'm really hoping to finish in the coming year. And this is Four Seasons by Marjolein Bastien, charted by Lanarte. And this is a really nice sampler, a more modern sampler than the ones we are seeing more now. And this is stitched on a 28 count even weave that came with the kit. And as you can see, I have a lot of done. I have the border done and it matched. <laughs> And I am working now on this motif. And here's a needle miner of mine. I'm working on this motif, which is a rather large one. And then I'm going to pick another one and to make that one. So yeah, I really want to get this done this year. And the chart is falling apart, really. Um, so I need to get it done. I am afraid if I don't finish it this year, the chart will fall apart even more. And then I am um, in big trouble because I cannot finish it then. Um, next one is also a sampler. Um, this is called Jane Marshall. And I received this in a giveaway by the Handwerk Boutique. Can I show it this way? Yes. Sorry for the glare. I'm not going to take it out. You know which one this is. This has been given out by... Um, it just lost. It just flew out of my mind. Um, hands across the sea. Hands across the sea samplers because of the um, enormous fires they had in Australia in the beginning of the year. And I received this as a giveaway from the Hunter Boutique. She bought about five of them and she um, she shared them with some um, contestants on Facebook. And I won. And I bought Mrs. Sedas her silk spec for it. I really love the colors. Look how vibrant this pink is. And they are so soft to stitch with. I haven't used all the colors yet, as you can see. I really love it. And she also uh, donated a little bit of every floss pack she sold. So I thought that was a good reason to buy uh, some flosses from her. And I <laughs> I'm stitching this as you can see I don't like doing borders I like doing the inside so I am stitching a little bit of border a little bit of in the inside and there are um, little borders in between so I'm, I'm switching up and I love the way <laughs> I'm stitching it this is on a 40 count um, antique white linen and um, yeah, I really love how this is turning out. Um, next, I'm going to show you my focus piece for 2021. Um, I am going to try and finish this piece next year. Um, we have a little stitchy group here in the Netherlands called the Stitch Kateers. Um We are with um, just a couple of uh, floss tubers and 
uh, one who is making an appearance sometimes in a floss tube, but mainly is on Instagram. Um, they are uh, Debbie, creatively yours, uh, Jemima, the rocking stitcher, um, uh, Jantina from Jantina Stitches, and me, we are from floss tube. And then there's Alice. Hi, Alice. Uh, she's a honeybee stitcher on Instagram. Um, we are meeting up every other Friday night for a Zoom meeting. And uh, one of those nights we were talking about um, finishing up our first hate. Um, Alice already finished the hate, I believe. But she also wants to finish the next, the next one um, in the next year. So we came up with a hashtag and I believe it's... FC finish challenge 2021 I hope I'm correct I will put it in the description box below so you can join please join um, we would lo love to see your progress and um, see how you are going to do it are you going to stitch on in one night a week are you going to stitch in, in uh, on it every first 30 minutes you are stitching uh, or a length of thread every day Please tell us how you are going to do it and show us your progress. As you know, I want to finish this piece, which is my oldest hate. This is a full fairy by Ruth Sanderson, charted by hate. I started this about eight years ago. And I really wanted to finish it this year, but I had to do so much. I had to, so much stitching left. It wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't able to. And I got bored with it and I, I just wanna, wanted to stop. And I'm going to move a little bit back for this one. Because it's a biggie. I am currently almost at 77% done. I wanted to reach 80% this year, but I'm not going to. And I will show you later why. But this is full fairy. And I will see if I can show it like this. I really, really love her. Um, I'm stitching this on 18 count Ada. 2 over 1. With all the DNCs called for. Um, so yeah. Um, I have to do about 125 stitches every day, I believe. I, When it's the 1st of January, I will recalculate and see... If that is still the, the amount of stitches I have to do every day, um, which is doable. I can choose to do it one night a week. I can choose to do a little amount every night. Um, I will see how I'm going to do it. But this will get finished in the next year. Uh, my husband really loves this one and he... Um, he already said it deserves to be framed and uh, get a nice spot in our home. So yeah, um, next, this one. As you can see, I still have a lot of whips left from last year. Um, I don't have a couple photo for this one, but you can look it up on the website of Linen and Threads. This is the Linen and Threads um, Stitch Along from, let me see, 2019. I'm not going to stitch the whole um, Stitch Along or the whole year. I'm going to finish the Peacock. I'm going to finish this border. Um, and I am probably going to stitch another border around it and fill in our initials. Make it, make it a little pillow or something like that. Um, I don't like all the motifs around it um, together with the peacock. I do like them uh, separately. Maybe I will stitch some um, like little ornaments or something. Um, but I do love this one. Um, this is stitched on 32 count Milano in an olive color. Olive, olive green. Um, and I'm stitching this with two threadwork colors and one DMC. And I really love how the peacock is turning out. So I should get back to this one and finish it. But I guess I'm going to say that 
to every project I'm, I'm working on. So yeah. I really like um, Murano in combination with Crackworks. Um, then, let me see. Ah, this is a very nice project too. This is also stitched on Murano. This is Game of Swans by Long Dog Samplers. And this is on a 32 count Murano in the color Platinum. And this is how far I've got. 1 over 2 with the gold for DMCs. And I really love this one. <laughs> I keep saying that to every project I'm stitching on, but yes, should get back to this one. I really like um, Murano is, is my favorite fabric to stitch on when you're using one thread. It's really tight, so you can use one thread and it still looks really nice. So, next, I'm using these project banks a lot, document folder. This is also Hot String Sampery Coffee Quaker, and this is number two. Isn't this cute? I want to stitch this and hang it in my new kitchen. And this is stitched on a... 32 count, what is it? It's not Vintage Country Mocha, but it's something like that. It's a little bit model. And this is how far I am. Stitched some of the word wording already and I'm working on this motif down here. And it's cute. Love it. Need to get back to it. <laughs> Yes, I also have uh, part one of this one, so when this is finished, I can start part one. And I have a little bit of this fabric left, so it's, it will be both on the same fabric. Then, something I have in this pink project bag. And this is also a mystery sampler. This is the 2021. I don't know if I'm going to start the 2021. Are you? I really haven't seen much. I have seen some people sharing their color choices, but I don't know if I'm going to start it. I still haven't finished this one for the 2019 one. So This is also stitched on a 32 count Murano in platinum, which is by far my favorite color. And this is stitched with uh, silks for you, PR 144, which is a really nice pink uh, modeled color. And I'm still working on the April Beast. Yes, still am. I should get moving because I've done almost half of it. I hope I can get it fold out when I iron. But anyway, um, I should get back to this one. I really love it and I love how the pink is looking on the platinum. I love all the motifs. So, yeah. Love it. Next is... Uh, Let me see if there's something in here I can show you. I believe it is, yes. Um, this is my monthly... Um, this was a monthly stitch, but I kind of... Oh, I'm sorry, I kind of lost it. Um, these are the Lizzie Kate yearbooks. Um, I... 
started um, in January and I have worked my way onto May, which is still in here, which isn't fully finished. Um, the rest of it is fully finished. It's uh, upstairs in a box so I can uh, switch it out when it's January. Um, and I started working on September. This is the S of September. Um, and I should um, I should start working on it again so I can display them in my house. It's a fun stitch. Um, this gate is always fun. Um, so yeah, should get back to this one. Um, then I'm going to show you my latest new start, which I received this morning as a gift from my husband. It's this kit, the Thea Gouverneur, and I'm stitching it like this on the Black Ada. I really, really, really loved this one for years, and I've been eyeing on it for years, and he bought it for me. This is the print in white, you can see it a little bit better on the camera. But I'm stitching it on a Black Ada, and I, uh, it's a kit, so it's it comes with all the threads. It's a really big piece <laughs> and I made a tiny 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 start this morning of course here is my start white on black Ada it's 20 count Ada so I can stitch it one over one and this is my start but this is the fabric <laughs> I started in the middle so I have a lot of stitching left and that is why I'm not going to reach 80% on my fall fairy anymore because I want to work on this one now. You can relate, right? As stitchers know what it feels like. So yeah. Definitely want to get back to this one. So when I'm finished with filming, I'm going to stitch a little bit more. And I need a project back for this because it doesn't fit in it anymore. Next. Ooh, next is Pandemic. This was an amazing gift by Jules. Um, of long drop samplers. Let me get this out. This is what it will look like when it's finished. Um, you can now buy it um, if you haven't got it as a freebie um, you can now get it and as a, a page chart it's absolutely worth it it is and i am stitching this on 32 count platinum murano what else and this is how far i got um, and this is stitched with silks for you the color PR147 and look at the needle minder isn't that gorgeous I think I have one left in my shop do I? it's cute I really love this I should get back to this one too where do I get the time? Yeah. Next up is DC. Ah, <laughs> these are all little charts, and I'm combining it as one big piece. This is Jack Frost Tree Farm, the little house needlework. Needleworks, I should say. And I'm also stitching this on 32 counts Platinum Murano, and I'm stitching it with two flats. And I made a tiny start. I haven't done much. And I am still debating whether I should pick it out. Or not 
And I think when I look at it again, I am going to pick it out. It's bulky, it is and my stitches aren't laying very nice, so I'm going to pick this out, I know for sure. So this will be a restart. I have been debating on it a long time. I am going to stitch it on the Murano, but with just one thread over one. So I'm stitching this with all the cold for specialty threads. I might not have enough now anymore, but as I'm looking on it, I already didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. I will start again very soon. is also a project which I can relate to this funny year. This is Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House and I fell for the, the wording on it. It says when the world seems out seems to be out of control I find a way to nurture my soul. Seeking refuge with needle and thread the angst and anxiety no longer I dread. Yes, you know, right? I really loved it. So I haven't finished it, um, but I already stitched 2020 on top of it. Because, yeah, you know. This is also on my 32 count Lucana. And this I am stitching with one thread, yes. This looks very nice this is on vintage country mocha um this is what i have done so far started working on the house with all the call for specialty threads so yeah i'm going i'm definitely going to pick out check frost tree farm it will look so much better and it will stitch so much nicer. And maybe I should do that in the near future so I can ha have it out next Christmas. Then, um, do I have a proper photo of this one? No, I don't. So I'm just going to show you what I stitched. This is a Hello Pumpkin. By Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, right now you have the um, Hello Dear, which I also really love, but I should get this one finished first. This is on 14 count Ada, 2 over 1. It's really cute. Um, yeah. It's easy. If you are tired of working on 40 count, then this is something I would grab uh, to work on. Then, oh, this is a cute one also. This is Panda by Magic Needle. Hashtag cute panda cell. I haven't worked on it for a long time. This is also on 14 count. Ada, which was provided in the kit, and I'm also using the threads. This is how far I am. I've been working on the head, a little bit on the branches. Isn't he cute? And he isn't big, but I should get back to this one. Very cute. Then, um, one of my recent starts, uh, I've mentioned the Stitch Kateers before, um, we started a friendship cell and um, I made a project bag for it, which is this, the bag is like that and this pink is also in the inside and I received a little gift from Jantina which is this cute little um, 
yeah, I made it a bag, uh, a zipper pull. And it says Friendship Cell 2020. Isn't this cute? Really love it. Thank you, Jantina. I already thanked you, but... Um, she also made us this. I still have it in the bag here. It says special for you, specially for you. And this is friends, friends for life. Um, and she also gave us two PNC variegated flosses. Thank you, Jantina. It's still in here, but together with the bag you sent it in. Um, but we, oh, and she also sent a little card with a lovely note on it. We started a blue flower pattern. Um, four of us started a quilting bee, and one started. What's it called? Something with farm. But also by the quilting bee. I don't know. It's, it was a market release. Very cute pattern. Um, and I'm stitching this with all the cold for threads. And I have a floss tag by Debbie. And I'm stitching this on the cold for fabric, which is Sheep Store by RR, 40 count. And this is how far it got. And we are stitching on this every Friday night. We are zooming together. But um, in between, I done thousand stitches because I was working on it. It's cute, so cute, and it's so fun to remember them by. I can hang it up somewhere, and every time I look at it. Um, this one is another hate. This is Farewell to Anger by Leonid Aframov. And I'm stitching this on 18 count, Ada, 12 1. And this is how far I am. Um, you can see I've, at first I used a paper pattern and then I started using pattern keeper which works a lot better I had to buy some flosses because I'm I just took them out to start other projects but um, I already received them so I can start working on this again so let me get a bit of my drink So, next up is, do I have, no, I don't have a full picture of this one, but this is, um, this is, what started as cell, oh, the happily ever after cell. Um, this is sort of how it will look like when it's finished. It's a little bit blurry. I have to print out a new chart. I emailed them, then I lost my copy. And they kindly renewed my copy and sent it to me. Um, but I still have to print it out. I bought this as a kit or uh, with the fabric. And I'm stitching this with the DMC called for. And it's a um, sparkly fabric. Really cute, and um, yeah, I need to get back to this one and finish it. Really love it. It's by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitching. I don't know if I mentioned that. Then I'm going to grab something out of this bag. This is oh, this is my mirror. This is Gypsy Queen. 
Isn't she cute? I really love her. Um, I already bought the beads and stuff, so I'm all kitted up now. And I'm stitching this on a 28 count Lugana. I don't exactly know the color name right now, but it's a 28 count Lugana. And this is how far I am. I started working on her waist and I'm working my way down onto the dress. Oh, I really love her. When I see her, I want to get her out. I really love her. It's my first mirror and I don't think it will be my last. I really love working on her. You know when you grab this one. It's a mirror. <laughs> Next up is a chart I bought at the latest pack fair here in the Netherlands. Um, it's called the Spiral by Joke Trebbel and Ijs. And I am stitching this on a 40 count. Um, Antique white linen. This is how far I am. And I am using her hand dyed threads, and this is colorway passion. So, yeah. Is um, playing with Jacks, the Cricut collection. I saw this um, stitched by Debbie and I really loved it. And I'm stitching this on my own hand dyed fabric. I coffee and tea dyed it. And I am, I have changed the center pumpkin. And that one is almost finished. Um, I still need to fill in a little bit more. Around. I started doing it here, but I have to fill in a little bit more around here. And then I can start on the other pumpkins. It's really cute. And I love how my fabric turned out. I can't really see it right now, but... Cute, cute, cute. Next is in this animal printed bag. Ah, this is my London, London, London cell. I don't have a cover photo of this. This was also a cell on a Dutch Facebook group. And you can now buy it as a uh, page chart. This is how far I am. And I'm stitching this with uh, Misus Sedasser silks in Darling Blue. And these colors are right in your face. <laughs> this is on a 40 count platinum uh, linen. I love it. Love, love, love it. And I keep saying it and I'm really sorry for that. But you know how I am. Next up is... Something I also don't have a cover photo for. I have a weakness for cells, I believe. Mystery cells. This one is almost finished. I have to do about two or three parts. And then she's finished. This is, I believe it's now called Butterfly Lady. Vlinder Meisje. And um, this was a mystery cell by Lanad. No, by Vervago. Um... And this is stitched on a, I believe a 28 count even weave. I got the kit, so um, everything was in it. And I really love this one. It's very, I love the colors. It's very light and girly and so yeah.
needs to get finished. Next is an oldie. This is Francine's Cotton Collage, um, which I bought at a discount bookstore. This is from 14 count Ada. I bought this as a kit, so I'm using gold for threads. And this is how far I am. And it's cute, I don't know why I keep working on this. Then something I started um, during our holiday last year. Um, this is Happy Camper by Lori Holt, be a number on it. And we really love to camp, and that's why I started it. Also on my 32 count Planner Murano, and this I am stitching with two threads over one. But since this is DMC, I really like how this is turning out. And this is what I've done in our holiday. That's quite a bit, actually. And um, I don't know if I keep working on this in between or that I am going to keep this as a holiday project. I don't know yet. But it's cute. It isn't big, but it's cute. Oh, I should get the chart in here. So, next, we are almost there. <laughs> almost. Um, oh, I don't have the cover picture from this one, but this was a recent start. Uh, also a hate, and I'm stitching this on 20 count Ada, one over one. And this is, um, what is she called? Pri oh, Princess Asleep by Yvonne Gilbert, charted by hate. And I saw this stitched up um, by Jantina, and I really, really loved it. And I was debating whether I should start it or not. I mean, I don't want to have... 20 hates going on because I'm not able to finish them. But this one I really loved. And I started it. I bought it in the sale and I started it. So this is how far I am. And I um, love it. Next up is a small one. This is called the Brandaris, which is the lighthouse on an um, island here in the Netherlands called Terschelling, where I used to go uh, as a kid with my parents. And I really love that place. And um, I'm stitching this. I bought this on the island and I'm stitching this. And I was working on some backstitch. Oh yeah, it really makes me want to go back. It's stitched on 14 count Ada with the provided flosses. And I guess this is my latest one to show you. I stayed under an hour. <laughs> it's amazing. This is a dimensions kit from the gold collection called Cabin Fever. And I am stitching this on the provided Ada, which is, I believe, a 16 count. Do, 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 do. 18 count. 18 count Ada. And how do I keep this? Like this. <laughs> this is the top. This is what I have done. 
This Edo was very stiff when I started. It's getting a little bit looser now, so it will be easier to work on. Uh, and I have a hate, love-hate relationship with Dimension Kids. So yeah. And I am missing a project. Actually, oh, it's in there. I'm not finished yet. It was a lie, I am not finished. As I was telling about a love-hate relationship with Dimensions Kids, I was thinking about the kit I have with the Labradors on them, the dogs, which is this one, and I still have a little bit left in there. This is uh, also a Dimensions Kit. This is on 14 count Ada, so it's a little bit bigger. And I've done a little bit more on this one. Um, I almost have the brown lamb done. And I started on the black and the um, blonde Labrador. We used to have a one like this. Um, so yeah. When I am seeing it right now, I am thinking, oh, I love it. But I really don't like blending threads and stuff. So that's why I don't work on it that much. Or actually, not really, but I should, I should finish it. Next up is this one, it's called Love and Devotion. Chew off with her cup. And I'm almost halfway done with this one. It's also stitched on 14 count Ada. And this is the halfway point. Um, so... I have a little bit left to do here and then finish the bottom part and last year I stitched a little bit on her face so I got a little bit done and this is on 14 count Ada uh, with all the gold four threads which were in the kit and then the last one it's also a freebie by Barbara Anna Designs. And this is called. Oh, uh, do I have a cover photo? Yes, this is called The Key. This was also a freebie for the um, B1 and Stitch um, movement. And I'm stitching this on a linen i bought from uh Ixio design and it's called it's a 32 count it's, it's called sampler blue light it's really a perfect color for this one and this is how far i am love it And that was really the last one. Check, check, double check. Yes, it's the last one. You've seen it all. All 35 projects. Um, as you can see, still a lot um, left from last year. I already told you my plans. Swimmy, stitch what you want, whenever you want. Uh, so, are those going to get finished? Don't know. Am I going to start several new projects? Yes. I do have some starts planned. Am I going to start them? Yes. Am I going to do guilty about it? No. I already have them laying around here, so why not start them? I already have them, so why not? Right? Um, I'm going to clean up this mess. I hope you enjoyed watching my whip parade. And I will see you very soon with a regular update. And um, then I will show you a little bit of our remodeling experience downstairs. So hope to see you again soon. Stay safe, stay healthy and um, see you again. Bye for now.